Hey, it's Eli IK Atlas. If you've been an artist for any length of time, the question has either crossed your mind or slid across your metaphorical desk. Should I do porn? Now for some people, that's an easier question to answer than others. Hopefully I can answer the question for both sides. It's a question older than time. Tits or ass? On one hand, everyone loves a big booty, you dig, but on the other hand, wait. Okay, wrong debate. Okay, so you want to know if you, a Puritan of the arts and of heart, should take up NSFW art. After all, all the cool kids have done it, and are doing it, or have announced they're going to do it over the summer as a new tier of their only, I mean Patreon, accounts. But is it for you? Well. If you like the sound of any of these, then maybe, or maybe not. Sex sells, and somewhat surprisingly, drawings of sex do just as well. And that's a historical fact. So if you're interested in making easy money drawing thick thighs to save your life, you're probably in luck because there's a huge market for it. One way to grow your following is by doing the NSFW stuff. As we know, before you even generate a dime, you'll need eyes on you first. And what easier way to do it than to rally the troops? And one thing I've seen in various NSFW communities over my decade plus of being a freelancer is that the NSFW world takes care of itself. Meaning, if you're making product that's hot fire, you're gonna get those retweets and reposts sooner than later. And if you're a little shy to be yourself while doing strange things for change, the good news is there's literally a niche for every fetish, interest, and off-color thought you've ever had. So you don't need to be a famous NSFW artist you'll still amass a healthy following with whatever you're already into. And technically, there isn't much to be ashamed of, and we'll get to that in a second. A lot of the coolest and most talented artists I know make a lot of NSFW work regularly or for a living. These guys, and girls, have mastered everything from human anatomy to all manner of perspective, foreshortening, animals, and aliens. And they're still heralded in the general art community. Now, as a closing point, there's the flip side. You do have to think about your brand and what you want to be known for. The types of content you're comfortable with putting out into the world because once it's out there, it'll stay there, even if you take it down. Google is nice with the cache aid sites. So while it seems like easy money, easy publicity, and an insane amount of flexibility, make sure you ask yourself, is this something that will derail my career in the future, whether as a checkout clerk or a potential presidential candidate? If you're cool with that, the only question left is, T or A. That about wraps it up for this week's video. Make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, and share if you found the video helpful, insightful, educational, something to help you make an informed guess. Make sure you leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, and again, share, share, share. That is the keyword for this year and every year. Make sure you guys leave suggestions for next week's video, any topics that you want me to tackle, and I will make sure I address them as always. And make sure you show up on time every Friday for the For Future Reference vlog. A new episode comes weekly, and every Monday is either a speed drawing, a tutorial, or whatever's on my desk. I always share it with you guys. So let me get your thoughts on this topic. Do you do NSFW art? Do you know people that do? It's a pretty good chance you do. What are your thoughts on them doing it? Have you seen people start doing it because of a need? Do you need to do it because of a need? Or is there a reason that you've talked yourself out of doing it? There's no wrong, and there's no right answer. So, I just want to hear you guys' thoughts on the matter. So make sure you leave your comments in the comment box below, and we will get a discussion going that way. Thanks again so much for watching this video. I shall see you guys here next week. Hopefully you found the video helpful and entertaining, or both. Later.